In a major boost to India's air power, eight US-made Apache attack choppers were inducted into the Air Force on Tuesday morning at a ceremony at the Patankot Air Base. Air Chief Marshal B.S. Dhanoa and Western Air Commander Air Marshal R. Nambiar were present at the induction ceremony. India is the 16th nation in the world to be operating the Apache attack helicopters. The Apaches are meant to progressively replace the Indian Air Force's legacy fleet of Russian Mi-35 choppers, which are nearing the end of their service life. Apache Apache choppers which fire anti-armor missiles are meant to take out tanks and hardened targets in the desert. They are equipped with advanced sensors to enable them to detect and engage their targets while flying very low and at high speeds to evade detection by enemy forces. At least five people have been killed in a major fire that broke out in an ONGC gas processing plant at Navi Mumbai's Uran this morning. ONGC has said the injured have been admitted to a hospital and the gas has been diverted to a plant at the Hazira plant in Gujarat. While the exact cause of the fire is yet to be ascertained, fire tenders have been rushed to the spot to douse the flames. The stock is under pressure on the news. The Assam government will provide legal aid to the needy among the 19 lakh people excluded from the National Register of Citizens. The Ministry of Home Affairs tweeted on Monday that the state government has made arrangements for legal aid through the district legal services authorities. It added that no person excluded from the NRC list will be detained under any circumstances and will continue to enjoy all rights as citizens till they exhaust all legal remedies. In an outreach to Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh, Home Minister Amit Shah on Tuesday met a delegation of citizens from the three regions at his office in North Block in the capital. Shah's meet comes 30 days since the centre's move to revoke Jammu and Kashmir's special status and bifurcation of the state into three union territories. Reports said the Home Minister's meet was to take feedback from the ground on the centre's move. There are reportedly 100 people in the delegation from Pulwama, Leh and Jammu. Justifying the communications clampdown in Kashmir, External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar has said that it was needed to prevent terrorists from joining forces against the authorities. In an interview to Politico magazine in Belgium, Jay Shankar stated it wasn't possible to stop communications between militants without impacting all of Kashmir. How do I cut off communication between the terrorists and their masters on the one hand but keep the internet open for other people, he said. Several countries have expressed concern over the prolonged restrictions in Jammu and Kashmir in the wake of government's Article 370 move. Former Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Ajit Jogi's son Amit Jogi has been arrested from his residence in Bilaspur. He has been arrested for providing false information in his poll affidavits that he belonged to the scheduled tribe. The complainant is a BJP leader, Samira Paikra, who contested against him in 2013 from the Marwahi Assembly seat in Chhattisgarh, which is a reserved constituency. The arrest comes after a government-appointed committee rejected his father Ajit Jogi's claim of being a tribal. One person was seriously injured when a man rammed his car into a crowd in the model town area of Delhi on Sunday night. The video of the incident shows the horrifying moment when a black sedan drove into a group of people at a busy road. It goes a little ahead and reverses back into the same crowd, hitting more people. According to reports, the man behind the wheels was harassing a woman in the area. When some people stopped and surrounded his car, he rammed into the crowd twice and sped away. In an embarrassing goof-up, former Pakistani High Commissioner to India, Abdul Basit, on Monday retweeted a photo of an adult film star while passing it off as a Kashmiri man who lost his vision due to pellet injury. Pakistan-based journalist Naila Anayat tweeted screenshots of the post that has now been deleted by Basit. This is not the first time Pakistanis have indulged in such goof-ups. Tata Steel has said that it will shut parts of its non-core businesses in the United Kingdom, a move that could cost about 400 jobs. The company proposed to close its loss-making Orb Electrical Steel site in South Wales, potentially affecting up to 380 jobs as it was unable to find a way forward for the business. Despite extending the deadline for submission of expressions of interest, JET reportedly failed to attract any new bidder. Now, JET's resolution professional will evaluate the three EOIs received so far. It also seems highly unlikely that the deadline will be expanded again. The three contenders bidding for JET are Panama-based Avantalo Group, Russian fund treasury RE Creator and South American-based Synergy Group. 
Neeta Ambani and Mukesh Ambani's star-studded Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations are the talk of the country. A look at how they hosted the festival at Antala. From Ranbir Kapoor and Alia Bhatt to Amir Khan, among others, stars were there in plenty. Like every year, Salman Khan's sister Arpita Khan too celebrated Ganesh Chaturthi with family and friends.